Hello everybody, welcome to another video. On this week's tech tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom lower third that you could use for your videos. So stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. Uh, what exactly is a low dirt? It's a overlay graphic that you could create that you could put into your videos to show notations. So um, as you see, there's a lot of videos out there where they have notations in the bottom of the screen showing like either the telling, you know, showing emphasis on what's the scene about or whatever, um, or they want to uh, credit, like they may want to put like subtitles or stuff like that to show, you know, names and stuff like that. So um, I guess the best thing to do is to show you um, what I'm making first. Um, I'm going to just pretty much just wing it pretty much. So, um, so when you want to make your graphic, you want to make it the dimension of your videos. So it should be 2 1280 by 720 for HD. And if you want to make a low third for uh, full HD, it'd be, you know, um, 1920 by 1080. So also, um, you want to give it uh, transparency as a background because it's an overlay. You want to overlay it. You want to create your graphics so you could put into your videos. So you don't want anything in the background to, to block it. So anyway, um, let's start by making some brand of some sort. Uh, let's just create a circle first. And we fill it in with a cutter. Let's start with white. And then uh, let's shrink the circle down a little bit, maybe. Uh, shrink it down by fifteen, maybe. And then we fill it with another cutter. Let's select black okay and um, let's see here let's select alpha selection uh, also want to select the white too so yeah that'd be good let's uh, give it a little bezel so it's sticks out a little bit uh, so let's give it a little bit of a depth of about mm, 10 uh, and, okay give it a little bit of a depth and then we merge it down Okay, um, let's put in some lettering. Um, let's give it some, let's go with a red cutter. Uh, let's choose a font of some sort. Uh, usually a logo, we usually use a font that is pretty thick. So let's find some really thick font. Uh, that one looks pretty good. Mm. Um. 
Let's use this one, this pretty thick looking font. Let's go with uh, up to 130. Let's center it and let's type it in. I don't know, um, GIMP Studio, maybe GS. That's that'd be like something uh, you could call it, you know. If you have your own logo name, you know, put in, you know, whatever initials it is, or well, you know, I'm gonna just start with GS. Let's make it a little bigger, let's make it a little wider too. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see here. Let's center it a little bit. Uh, maybe a little lower. Okay, let's give it in a shadow. Give it a little depth. Uh, Let's make it a little pronounced. Let's go 10. Okay, that looks pretty really good so far. Let's flatten the whole thing down. Now let's resize it. Uh, undo that. Uh, let me select the whole graphic. Okay. Okay. Let's move it to the edge here. And somewhere in here would be pretty good. Let's put a bar behind it. Like that. Then let's fill it with uh black white color maybe black yeah, let's go with black fold this oh maybe I need a new layer There we go. Let's put this in the back of it. Yeah, it's starting to look pretty good. Let's move it a little bit. Oh, that looks pretty good. Uh, okay, let's give it a little bit of a slant. Uh, actually, no. I want to select that layer first. I'll fuss this selection. Uh, perspective 2. Let's give it a little bit of a slant. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we could put some text over here. We're gonna make it stand out. We're gonna do white. And well, we don't need the text to be that big actually. Um, let's try 50. Let's see what 50 looks like. Select it. Uh, 
Let's go. Call it Gimp. Uh, mm. Studio. Okay. Let's uh, center it a little bit. Okay, let's give it a little bit of uh, some glow, make it a little flat. Give it a little owl glow, bit, maybe a little reddish ting, maybe. And maybe just a little bit, like one. Try that and see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now you've um, done a low dirt overlay. Now we could export it out. Okay, let's just export this uh, out. Uh, on desktop. Okay. Here's our lower. Now, how are we gonna put this into our veil? Let's, uh, let's open, open shot. Okay, we got a veil, and we got this graphic here. Put the veil before, and put this overlay above it. Now we could put it the whole length of the veil. We could add in some start a clip we could have it fade in slowly and we could have it uh zoom in from a zoom in from a let's see what it looks like oh there you go that's where the old way comes out on the video and that's how you make a uh, custom low dirt for any veil you want to uh, want to put a overlay in. So that's pretty much it. Like, subscribe, hit the notification for more upcoming videos. As always, have a nice day, and I see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.